Hey guys, Josh from Black Man, White Man Kayak Fishing here. Um, I just want to talk to you about my Pacific Action Sail. It's a 1.5 metre. Um, I think it was around about $375. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but that's it was thereabouts anyway. Uh, this thing's pretty awesome. It's a good addition to my kayak. It makes me a lot, 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 lot more satisfied with the whole kayak idea of things no you know you don't have to worry about paddling a lot of the time now i just have to throw the sail up sit back rig up my rod and then pull it down when i want to fish and use the paddle just when i'm getting around in tight areas or you know when when there's no wind around of course but this sail is absolutely awesome uh james he also has one on his ocean kayak 4.3 Prowler, sorry, Prowler 4.3, I should get that right. Um, it's, you know, there, there's a, there, probably one of the best things you can really put on a kayak, unless you want to put a motor in, but then you've got that weight of the battery, and if you do have to paddle, then you're not going to be having too much fun. And, um, really, all you got to do, unhook your bit of bungee here, which is holding it down, take that off, and then you throw it up, and it opens up, and usually the wind will catch it, push on that, and that spreads out nicely and looks awesome, and you get going immediately. Um, it's pretty basic, really. Uh, just a little shoe sort of thing, I don't know, I can't remember what they're called, I've just had a big mind blank. But um, that's pop riveted there at the moment, it comes with these weird pop rivets, I've used that for now, but... Um, I've got a, it's just a bit difficult to try and reach up the front there, get to that tight area with nuts and bolts, but I'm, I'm going to do it one day when I've got nothing to do. But uh, that goes there right in the dead center of the kayak. Uh, it has to be at least 25 centimeters or more away from the base of the sail. Um, you've another two uh, runners, I guess. I can't, I've just had a big mind blank all of a sudden, can't remember what anything's called. Another two runners there, you know, you put your rope, your strap through there, pull it tight on both sides. Make sure that's flat when you're doing it, and then you have to screw holes and put these two little screws in, if you can see that. Um, put one on either side, on both sides. And that makes sure it, that makes sure, it, makes sure it flicks up properly every time. Uh, back a little bit more, you got your rope coming down into another one of these runners, goes along to another runner, and that comes up to your fixing point. Usually it's just got a jam cleat, but um, I've just tried something a bit different and used one of these ones. Had a mind blank, can't remember what that's called either. Um, I've got the tail, you know, the rest of it, you can cut that back. But I'd like to keep that, so I'll just click it onto the... Well, well, when I get my life jacket, it will be clipped onto the back of that, so the rope stays out of the way. But if I fall out of the kayak, it's not going to keep sailing away without me, um, which we wouldn't really want if we're out in open water. We'd be in a bit of strife then, even if, especially if I was on my own. Uh, so, yeah, that's, that's, it's just that same thing again on the other side. You know, you pull that rope if you want to adjust it, so if you want to sail across wind, both ways, like so. Um, but yeah, that's it. That's pretty much it. Eh? It's real basic, but absolutely worth it. And to get him down, pull one of these all the way down, like that. And that one either stays up or it falls down, and you just pull him over, put them together, and you wrap wrap that around like it was when we first started. And then she just flicks up whenever you want it. But it's real good though, tuck them down, roll them up, get them out of the way, and as soon as you want to sail, you just flick it up, off we go. Uh, really good investment. I'd suggest buying one. If, you, if you're after one, uh, you just jump on the internet, look up uh, Pacific Action Sales, and that should put you onto one. Or in Maribro, you can just go to Bodie's Warehouse, and uh, they can they can set you up from there. Um, real nice crew, buddy's warehouse. 
that's where I get everything from. That's where I got, got my ice box. I get all my lures. Get all, just get about just every, about everything for this kayak. Uh, yeah. So if you're after something, I'd go see Bodies. Uh, so yeah, that's that's that sale Pacific Action sale. Um, there's a website up the top here if you can see it. www.pacificaction.com. So yeah, if you just want some more information, you could go do that, or you could head off into Bodies and James will tell you everything. Oop, bit of rope in the way there. Yeah. Uh, so if this video is any good, just uh, give us a subscribe and uh, give us a like, eh? Cheers, everybody. See you later.